I'm Paul Hudson. I'm from Fleximar. Uh, my Twitter handle is there as well, so lots of abuse during the presentation, I'm sure. Um, so Fleximar, we've uh, been doing it differently, doing it better in online research uh, for 10 years. Uh, our platform, as Robin just said, has the widest range of qual, quant, and mobile techniques all built in one place. So the idea is to blend together research techniques and blend them uh, for deeper and better insight. And that's what I'm going to show you a bit about today uh, with a case study from one of our clients. Um, so utilities is a sector that's not renowned for positive press. And the last 18 to 24 months, these are some of the stories that have been doing the rounds in the UK around utility uh, customer opinion and customer feeling. But I'm going to show you today a bit about how we uh, harness that uh, in a community setting by building a really uh, interactive and rich community uh, in order to harness uh, that feeling and improve and turn around our customer uh, experience and customer service for our client. So our client is a U leading UK utility company uh, suffering from high customer churning, low customer satisfaction rates. And there's a particular problem that hit them uh, in that particular duration of a year that they were having. So our approach with them has been to cultivate uh, a long-term, thriving community. And I say long-term, it's been running for over five years, and it's still running today. It's continuously running. Uh, within that, we've integrated data from themselves. So it's got CRM data, it's got segmentation data, it's got uh, product data into the database as well. And we use that community in order to demonstrate uh, and the cause and effect between the things that they do uh, in their customer service, in their product, in their pricing. And we, then we see the reaction to that in the community, and we can see the cause and effect between everything they do and trace it back to help them improve further. From that, we create specific actions and powerful evidence-based insight that generates business change, and in this case, reduced customer churn as a result. So there are three pillars to our community analysis approach. Uh, as I said before, the database is a foundation of that. Within the database, we have uh, key customer segmentation. We have targeting strategies who can target specific activities to specific customers. We also have survey and quick poll data that records permanently in that database against every consumer as well. So we have a continuously building uh, insight pool for each customer. On top of that, we layer uh, a lot of community engagement. We run a proactive community plan every month. Uh, we have engaging community tools. And all of those are designed to make customers comment, keep coming back, and talk to each other outside of the research as well. Then we have the analysis pillar, which is around text anal analysis, human uh, coding, theming, tagging, just like you would do from a transcript, continuously going on within that community. And we report that back to our client every month. We have an alert system, should we see anything that alarms us. Uh, and we also have a report system every month to tell them about things that they should be thinking about, things that they should be researching more into, uh, and telling them where they should be going. The foundation of this partnership is a continuous community panel. As I said, it's been running for five years. It's been running since January 2010. It consists of 15,000 plus uh, members uh, that are continuously recruited. So there is a panel element. There are three strands of research that take part in this. There's a panel element which has the surveys, has regular polls, has regular contact diaries. And those elements enable us to scale uh, anything should we need it. They, we've got closed questions and they do record onto that panel. The second style of research is closer to your ad hoc uh, traditional projects, taking place into an online setting, but we have live chat discussion groups, we have bulletin board discussion groups, smart boards, scrapbooks, word polls, brainstorming journals. All of those elements allow us to frame questions in a qualitative manner to specific targeted segments. And then we have that community, the thriving community that's always on. It's got open forums, open discussion, open blogs. Customers can say whatever they like, whenever they like it, in a secure, uh, safe environment. And the case study that I'm going to talk about today and our approach to uh, community analysis really starts at the bottom, not at the top. 
A lot of research that your clients ask frame the question from the beginning. In this particular case, we framed it from the community. We were able to observe what was going on in the community and from that, frame research into the project uh, sphere in order to help solve and identify the specific processes that would solve the problems we are observing. The panel could then be used should we need to scale it and get to numbers to help in engage stakeholders. Uh, Fleximar and, and my personal beliefs, I'm a real believer uh, that true insight comes from this blending of techniques. And I don't just mean qual and quant, I mean different types of qual as well. I mean task-based, I mean group, I mean individual, I mean collaboration, I mean co-creation, I mean diaries, and I mean mobile. I want it all so that I can be able to use different elements and pick the appropriate questioning style when I need to. So in 2014, our clients uh, started to lose customers. There was always churn in the industry, but we noticed it and they noticed it. The customers were leaving an alarming rate. In fact, 6% of all community comments in that year were discussions around leaving them and going to another provider, which was quite alarming given the year before nobody was talking about switching. So how do we analyze uh, a community that's always on and continuously evolving? First of all, in that open forum and in the open blogs, we have roughly 7,000 to 10,000 uh, comments a year. Uh, the, they're all analyzed and tagged. Uh, there is a computer that helps the process, but really don't get hung up on that. I'm not a huge believer in that approach. All of this is human-based. It's the same as you taking a transcript and same as you taking a transcript and a highlighter pen and, and highlighting little words and then theming them together. That's how we take the approach, and that happens as they get posted. So it is constantly building. So think of this as a giant database of your transcript that's continuously building from unframed research, uh, which we've not asked questions about. So our researchers are doing that process, tagging and theming that content as we go. So here's some tags. So beneath all of that, there's comments. We've tagged all of those, those comments as they come through. We might theme these ones together under the theme of communication channel, such as letter, email, appointment, bills, callback. All of those comments beneath that relate to communication channels. We might have a theme about customer service, people talking about staff, people talking about issues they had that weren't resolved, people talking about... Uh, they're missing bills, people talking about closing accounts, people talking about communication they'd had with the call centre. All of those things are themed under customer service. And then we add a sentiment to that. So that might be negative, it might be positive, it might be a problem, it might be quick, it might be late, it might be recommended. And all of that is, is stored and recorded. So as we were analysing it in 2014, we'd already seen that 6% of comments are relating to switching. What we were also able to see that sentiment towards customer services was identified as a driver of low customer attention. So 10% of all comments in the community were also about customer services. Not just switching, 10% of them were about the customer service with, the, with our client. And 76% of those comments, they were negative. So we were able to show the client that not only were 10% of the community discussions around their customer services, most of the, the, the words, most of the comments that we were picking up in the community were related to customer service in a negative sense. It was no longer positive, it was all negative. What we were then able to do was really dive in and pick out individual case studies within the community. This stage is really important in order to engage the stakeholders. The stakeholders were at the time uh, sitting there thinking, we've got a lot of customers leaving, but it was just numbers on spreadsheets. We need to bring the emotion and bring the, uh, highlight the issues to our client. So you can see there that experiences of poor customer service can overcome the benefits of the tariff of fuel price. And some quotes from one individual customer, we put them in the segment, we gave them back to the client, and we were able to say, look, this is the experience your, your customers are having of you right now. 
One particular case study really got the client engaged. So this was a customer that had been a long-standing member of the community that had been talking about switching. And we noticed that in January, when we pulled out the comments, these are comments they made in the community in January, and above was their likelihood to renew, which was scored at 10. That means that they're likely to renew their contract. They were highly likely to stay with the client. They loved our client in January. Then by August, their sentiment and customer experience had changed somewhat. Something had happened to this customer to change their view. Not, now they were likely to renew was rated at three. So they were likely to leave. They were in risk of leaving. By December, that customer had actually decided to leave our client. And we put that in front of our client and said, that's what your customer service is doing. We're taking people who were happy and we're turning them off and they're now switching. So in our community, because we've got it's always on, and because we've got the customer data with segment data in there as well, one of the powers of it is that longitudinal analysis. We're picking up real customer emotion over time and observing that behavior. And by putting that together, it wasn't to try and stop that individual customer to leaving, it was in order to drive insight to know why they were gonna leave. The analysis of the community showed that sentiment towards email service was especially low. So now we know people are thinking of switching, it's customer service that's driving it, and particularly, it's email that's driving it. And we could show them that because of all the comments that are being tagged in customer services, most of them were related to email customer service. So now we're honing the problem down. They're switching, it's customer service, it's negative, and a lot of that is to do with email customer service. The sentiment which, uh, to, or towards email discussion was incredibly negative. 76% of that was negative. We could also break it down and highlight individual segments. Segment six was the one that was having most problems, and that told us something about who to interview next and what the kind of problems were they were having. I think segment six was something to do with online servicing. So the obvious thing that begins to come out of that is how can we now improve that customer service to change this situation, to stop people from switching before they switch? Customer service was under pressure at the time. Our client told us that. And we had to identify ways to change that situation. So then we moved up a level in our community, from the community analysis into direct questioning. We recruited eight people from the community that had switched. They were still a member of the community, but they had told us they'd switched. So we recruited those eight to do an in-depth interview. The purpose of the interview was to identify triggers that caused them to switch, to understand their expectations, the particular breakpoints that frustrated them, and to discuss processes that could be changed. We obviously came up with some uh, illustrations and quotes, uh, but out of that, when sitting down with the client, we came up with four specific actions. We introduced new service level agreements. We created new processes to escalate email handling when they became a problem. Through the interviews, we were also able to identify a broken process, process in billing, online billing recording, that was broken and creating a lot of those email triggers uh, that we were seeing. And number four, we were able to identify the opportunity for in introducing a new self-service process that would actually divert a lot of these volume uh, away from the call center and create greater capacity for the call center. So the interviews gave us a lot of detailed detail about uh, the processes that were broken and why certain emails weren't working so well. And again, to help engage the stakeholders, we were able to build very rich portraits of those interviews uh, to help them engage it. So one, we had the segment, the healthy and wealthy in this particular case, is one of their segments that they prioritize as a customer. We knew this customer had left. We were able to build a demographic profile because we had the profiling on the database. 
We were able to list the customer service expectations identified in the interview, and we were able to pull through the quotes from that customer that they left in the community. So we're now driving in that pen portrait, a very rich portrait from the segment data, the community data, and the interview data that helped us communicate the results to our client. And what did the project achieve at the finish? It increased the investment in customer services, or should I say prioritized that investment in customer service. Our client was able to identify which parts of the service process needed to be improved, where to prioritize that investment. We were able to outline examples of emails that were handled very badly and emails that were handled very well. And they were used directly back in the staff training in order to improve uh, the content of emails when they did reply. By introducing uh, new processes to self-service, we were able to divert traffic from the call center and increase capacity of the customer services team, thereby enabling them to respond faster to the emails that they were struggling with, uh, which in turn created improvements in responsiveness with customers that was so frustrating in those uh, commentaries and comments we were finding in the community. And that led in turn to overall improvement in customer satisfaction uh, response rates. And in the community, we've seen a change as well. So that graph that I showed you before, uh, where email sentiment was 76% negative, um, over, yes, it was over a year later when we looked at the same score again uh, from our community analysis. And our community analysis were able to show that people talking about email customer service a year on was a lot more positive. 43% of people's comments around email uh, was now positive and the community was a much happier place. So we were able to show that back to the client and say, you have changed your customer perception in the market as a result of that. Their customer satisfaction scores went from a very low 31%, that's 31% very satisfied, to a 57% very satisfied. In utilities, 57% is a good satisfaction. Uh, rating. It may not seem high to other brands, but it is high in utilities. So they have almost, in a year, doubled the satisfaction rate with their customers. And this was one particular customer from the community that actually came back to them, uh, and they switched back again to their, to their original client, to our client, uh, as a result of their improved customer experience and customer service that they were now able to achieve. So a very happy customer, a very happy client, uh, and a very happy success.